It has been six days delay. But the Honeywell home, throwback 276. Green flag, green flag, green flag! Field races their way into turns one and two and up front. It is Connor Hall, the Dick Trickle throwback, and he's trading paint with the King Richard. I'm sorry, that is William Sawalich in the 43. Hall leads lap number one, and already, Ryan, they're coming up on some slower traffic in the form of Clint Boyer, I mean, uh, Hayden Swank in the AC Delco car. That, um, he's setting a pace to where he's able to sort of let this 43 car go right here, but he's also lifting early to try to save that right front and probably rolling into the gas. Really easy on exit to try to save that right rear. Well, it didn't work for him that time. New leader, lap number eight, William Sawalich takes the king to the front. The STP 43 leads a hickory. Dylan Warren in the, in the teal number 77. And look up front, oh, problems, turn number one. Hayden Swank in a very precarious spot. There on the outside of turn number one, he has looped the AC Delco Chevrolet. The first two rows as we go through the KRC power steering restart zone. Green flag is out yet again, and we are off and racing. Lap number 10 goes to William Sawalich, but I'll tell you who I'm impressed with right now, Ryan. That blue number eight, Jeff Burton throwback of Zach Miracle. Had a really good run here back in the spring, got thwarted with a mid-race accident, but he now is up to second and chasing down William Sawalich. Caution, turn number four. Chase Burrow, Dylan Ward, Luke Finhouse, and I believe that is Jonathan Schaefer. Yes, it is all involved over in the fourth turn. That is not what you want to see, man. Oh, Luke Finhouse's car's done. Let's take a look. Oh, Dylan Ward and poor Luke Finhouse, Jonathan Schaefer had nowhere to go. Isabella Robusto and Garen Mash taking to the pit lane. What happened here, Ryan? Um, As we're looking back, looked like well, the eight appears to be coming down the racetrack where the 77 is and just contact where they get both get sideways and then there's nowhere for the other two to go, unfortunately. William Sawalich and Zach Miracle lead the field to turn number one. And the Honeywell home throwback 276 is green one more time. And that 57 we talked about just barely made it back out before the field. Speaking of barely, oh, the contact there between the leaders. William Sawalich barely going to lead lap number 20. Did barely lead lap number 20 for William Sawalich. A little bit further back, there is the flying number 11 of Bobby McCarty and Ryan. He started shotgun on the field. New race car, or at least new for this event race car. He is already up to the 14th spot in less than 50 laps. So things are going pretty well. Same for the 44 behind him of Trevor Ward. Originally meant to be piloted by Jansen Marchbanks. The family had an all-inclusive Alaskan cruise vacation. They said, man, we don't want to miss this race. But we got to spend a lot of money on this vacation. We got to go. So Trevor Ward is in the car and giving it a pretty good ride. Look at this. Ralph Earnhardt is all over Dick Trickle for this spot here. Position number six. That's actually Connor Hall in the 99 and Mason Diaz in the eight. I told you, we're going to have a lot of fun with this. Oh, yeah, it's already been a blast. Busto is at the 12th. And Danica Patrick, uh, Bristol one off. Throwback caution. Caution on the speedway. And trying to see exactly what it is. It is not a competition caution by rule. That would have been after 55 consecutive green flag laps. So it appears it might be either rain or debris on the speedway. The rain has stopped here at the Hickory Motor Speedway. The track has been dried, and the Solid Rock Carriers Cars Tour field will continue the re resumption of the Honeywell Home Throwback 276 as William Sawalich and Caden Honeycutt bring him to the KRC Power Steering Restart Zone, and the Throwback 276 has resumed. Side by side down the back straightaway. We got Honeycutt up there on the high side. Swalich down there on the bottom two by two through most of this one. And they are really stacked up up there on the high side, right? 
Yeah, it looks to be about go time here. Peyton Honeycutt, he might try to pull down in line. He does. William Sawalic still going to control the lead as side by side back. Actually, they, they sorted out. The eight car gets down. Nonetheless, yes, this is the battle for the fourth spot. Connor Jones has it in the white 18. Carson Quapple wants it in the white 06. And not a surprise to see Connor Jones doing this well this early. Had a good run back here in March before a mid race incident took him out of contention. But Quapple gets by. That's for position number four. Here comes the White Knight, the number 99 of Connor Hall, the big trickle throwback. That's for position number five. Hall will have it in stripe that time. And boy, he is leaning all over that 18 of Connor Jones. Fun fact about that 99 chassis, that is actually the same car that I won the Bob Isaac Memorial here with back in 2018 and this very throwback race in 2019. And guys, so, I am inclined to believe that, as we discussed earlier, unless something changes, we are on the verge of a history-making night where for the first time ever we may see a driver double up on an event in Cars Tour competition. Many have tried, none have succeeded. William Sawalich may be that guy. Yeah, hey guys, Sawalich, we thought might have this thing in the in the hand, but I've been watching the lap times. There you see Caden Honeycutt, and he has got company in the form of Connor Hall. Last time by Connor Hall, two tenths faster than leader William Sawalich. One point and one point seven seconds, twenty six laps to go. The math works out. Connor Hall might reel in Richard Petty, or excuse me, William Sawalich. Dick Trickle might go back to victory lane. And look at this, guys. There's a bunch of traffic ahead of William Sawalich. A boatload. Chase Dixon, the cold trickle throwback. Landon Pimpleton, the HC Sellers 83. Chase Burrow, Dylan Ward, Hayden Swank. This is exactly what Connor Hall wants to see right now. Absolutely. It doesn't look like there's anywhere really for William Sawalich to go here as he gets bound up by the, uh, the two car of Hayden Swank here. He's going to take it three wide through the middle to break through those lap cars. And there you see Hall, that white car immediately behind him, closing the gap. It's down to less than a second. 0.9 on the watch last time. So Wallach has chosen the bottom. Trevor Ward gives him that lane. 13 to go. This is really helping Hall. Hall gets around Ward, no problems. So Wallach sails it in underneath of Langley and Chad McCombie. Clear for William Sawalich. Connor Hall may have the same thing this time off turn two. He now clear of Chad McCombie. The gap officially last time, less than four tenths of a second. You don't need a watch to tell you that. You can see it. It's two and a half car lengths to start finish. Richard Petty and Dick Trickle. Going for victory with their respective liveries here, driven by William Sawalich and Connor Hall, respectively. I cannot think of two more iconic drivers, two more iconic cars, and a not at the Kennedy a more iconic racetrack to go for a victory here at Hickory. Oh man, Sawalich got loose, but so did Hall. They are side by side down into one. Oh, they're together. They're beating and banging. So Wallach, first real challenge of the night. They lead on one another. They trade paint in turn three. Move Connor Hall back to the point on lap number 131. But William Sawalich is not going to give it up easily. What a crossover. That was a veteran move by William Sawalich, no doubt. But look at Connor Hall on the outside, trying to arc that corner. Another crossover in turn four. Sawalich again sideways. Hall hangs on to the lead with six laps to go. The fans at Hickory are on their feet. We've seen a lot of fantastic finishes here and otherwise. The Solid Rock Carriers Cars Tour. Hall now has the lead all to himself. Will this come down as another one with five laps to go? Oh, he's going to give him the bumper there. Oh, he moved him up. We've seen this now multiple times, and guys, they've had that much respect for one another. They will move each other, but they have yet to wreck one another. Hall again, the crosser of turn two this time. Do we see it? He now, look at Sawalich on the wheel. Swatton flies in the cockpit. This is shaping up to be one of the best finishes Hickory Motor Speedway has seen. He's oh, in the contact door slam. again. Hall moves him up the racetrack, and you see slower traffic starting to gain ground. 
the gaps now at car length. The Sawalich is sideways. That may have been the winning move by Connor Hall. Just enough ground. This time through turns three and four. Hedgecock racing pole sitter. Connor Hall will see the white flag. He has fallen back through the field, clawed his way forward in an epic battle for the ages with William Sawalich. Connor Hall sails the car into turn number three. And for the second time in Cars Tour throwback history, a dick trickle throwback goes to victory lane in the throwback 276. Tonight, it is driven by Connor Hall. What a drive by Virginia's Connor Hall. We'll get out and talk with him here in Edelbrock victory lane. How in the world did you outduel the king in a dick trickle car that had to be one of the best races we have seen in years. How did you do it? Well, I mean, first, before we even get to that, um, I mean, I don't even know how old the kid is. I think he's 15 years old, and he's driving like the king. Um, so I had to talk to those guys. I, uh, you know, we got a little physical there, but I think both of us kind of realized it was the only way that one of us were going to come on top. So, uh, you know, hats off to those guys. They bring an incredible piece. But, uh, I mean, darn, as far as the race, uh, you know, I kind of, I call it the halfway break, but the rain delay, I thought... We, we were really messing up on our strategy, but uh, obviously at the end it paid off, so here we are. This is now third win of the year for you in the Solid Rock Carriers Cars Tour. The points kind of take care of themselves at a certain point, but just worried about race wins and hoping they do take care of themselves. Um, I mean, as good as the junior crowd is, we, uh, you know, we got a lot of chasing to do, but I think obviously we're starting to put the puzzle pieces together. This was the car that we had to completely rebuild after South Boston. But, um, I mean, shoot, as far as the game plan goes, I mean, as far as I'm concerned, Town Bank, bringing concrete, first team automotive, I mean, liquid performance, not done yet sport fishing, uh, just everybody who makes this possible, Chad Bryant, Stevens Venerisi, Zach Bringer, Gage Painter, just everybody who makes it happen. Uh, my spider, Bo Gherkin, we're two for two together in the Cars Tour. So, uh, you know, th this is what I came here to do. I was a local track guy and I wanted to sh you know, show that I had some wings on me. So hopefully we're doing just that. Connor Hall is a throwback 276 winner. And he is at William Sawalich here, second place finish. And my goodness, is that just the best in short track racing right there? Talk about that battle with Connor Hall. And if there's anything you could have done different. Yeah, no, it was super fun. I think I burnt my right rear off a little bit too much. I think um, we were both having that same issue, but no, uh, super happy to uh, uh, gain that experience from that and uh, to be able to do that with him. All right, William, well, we got Ace next week. Obviously a great run tonight. How does that fare for you moving uh, to the famous four tenths mile next week? Yeah, I think it'll be um, some good confidence boost going into there, uh, doing double header there. So I think we can pick up at least a win. All right, there's William Sawalich who finishes in second. And Tony, can't think of anything more throwback than the donuts you see right <laughs> on the side of this beautiful 43 paint scheme. I love it. Look at that. That's an exhaust burn mark, guys, on the wrap. That is fantastic. That is awesome. That is great. That If there is one shot that personifies and epitomizes the throwback 276, that's it. Holy cow. Man, that's a race. We've seen a lot of good ones. That one ranks as one of the top five, I think, in Cars Tour history, in my opinion. No doubt.